I mean, this is exactly why gain of function research is what it is. It's like, we can't do this yet, so we're going to let evolution take a shot and see if it can create kind of the neighborhood of what we're looking for. Yeah, you use serial passaging. I mean, in fact, yeah. the, that crazy paper, the uh, Christian Anderson paper in Nature that keeps being pointed to. From like March or April of last year. Yeah, it yeah. says, well, this isn't a designed virus because we would have thought the spike protein would fail with this confirmation. You and could although, take it from me. If I had been doing this research, I would not have created that thing. Right. Which, you know, it is true, I think, that nobody would have designed the spike protein we got. It is not true that the protocols we use in the lab wouldn't have put together that spike protein. Um, I want, Do you think that's intentionally confusing? Do you think, do you think he's he was putting that out into the world in order to be confusing because he's certainly aware of what serial passaging and gain-of-function research is. Well, I would just say that the history of those two papers, the Lancet paper and Which the Which is Nature like the 27 paper. multi-authored paper just saying, yep. don't worry about it, nothing to see here. Let's put it this. Yep. You've got uh, Dasik on one on the Lancet paper, and you've mm -hmm. got Dasik not named in the second one, but there is an email chain that puts him behind it. And so yep. uh, I do have the sense- He was at the, least consulted. Yeah, that the paper, um, you know, I hesitate to say anybody deliberately wrote anything that they knew was false. On the other hand, it's really hard to figure out how somebody who is as prominent would have come up with something so obviously and transparently wrong. Well, but I mean, it, but, <clears throat> but it has worked. Yes. Right. Like the the confusion. Like it it didn't it hadn't even occurred to me. I think we've said this on this live stream before. It hadn't even occurred to me until maybe after we were on Mar, even at the end of January, that some people heard lab leak and thought created de novo from scratch by humans. Right. Like it literally never occurred to me that someone could hear lab leak and think that. And that's partially you know my ignorance, but it also like that Anderson paper specifically like created that narrative. Yep. It, it created it, and I don't know if it existed before. Well, so at least the following, at least the fact that people, not knowing what this, these sorts of techniques are, would hear, oh, did this leak from a laboratory, and might think, you know, diabolical geniuses writing viruses in private for, you know, weapons purposes or whatever. It was incumbent on those who are well placed in this to say, actually, that's not what's being discussed. This, what we are discussing, is something like the hybridizing of viruses that we get from nature, or the use of serial passaging to enhance viruses that we get from nature, or a combination thereof, mm -hmm. um, or the splicing in of a gene individually from some place that we want. Um, however. We don't believe that that happened because, and then make your damn argument. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that they didn't do that. They took the advantage yeah. of people's um, fanciful imaginations as to what was being alleged in order to hide and say none of that could possibly have happened, and you'd have to be a fool to think it could. Right. Right. And so, yes, um, it, it is. Uh, it is extremely misleading. Yeah, at best.